Hey everyone, Magic Lover recording a little legacy one on one action against uh, someone I played against a few times before. And I've got eh, just about everything I need. We are going to go for the hard excel route and keep the Dryad Arbor as a uh, oh, video card reset. I'll keep the Dryad Arbor as a uh, alternative. If we get Wrath or something. Not what I want to see for an opening hand. Ooh. Hmm. I'm putting him on high tide with a blue splash or green splash. Interesting. Yeah, let's get this down. Damage isn't going to matter to him pecking away right here, but being able to rip a big turn three wave will. So we'll go for that. That's not a good sign. We do not want our opponent to have a counter spell right now. So plan A is to uh, to wave for a bundle. I'm going to drop the arbor here. That'll be four creatures. Four, five, six, five, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. A wave for eleven. Okay, that's not too bad. This is good, so now I'm just worried about force and days. Uh, that actually changes the equation. I'm going to do this because now with two extra untaps, I'll get a little more value. I'm going to keep that just in case he dazes. Wave for 13. Bring it home. Draw out that force well. Oh, and it hits. Wave a Rema. And we're going for round two. Jeez, I think I almost hit 100% here, except for that crop rotation. Holy cow. Uh, no. Fists on him. Fists on him. Witness for rotation. None of the other. I'm going to go for that. Obviously not going to slime the top. Exercise in futility. Yeah, you know what? I I would like that back. And we're going to wave for the rest of our stuff here. I might actually leave one card. in my library, just so if for some reason he manages to nerf me here, at least I don't draw dead. Uh, 41. No. Well, you know what? Forget it. I'll just reveal the top 41. And we'll pick and choose a little here. Oh, I 
did screw up by not redoing that. Wow. He just conceded, and I was drawing dead. I didn't have any available attackers. I haven't had anything that wasn't, uh... So I got lucky there. I kind of screwed up. Um, definitely should have not drawn my entire library. Let's see. I'm guessing I'm going to get countered more. So I'm going to go for a little less juice. I think I can drop the ooze out. Sage you for one arbor. Give that a whirl. We're back for game two here. And let's see, what do we have? Arbor, so we get a one, a two. Unfortunately, we have that in hand, but, you know, we've got a witness to get it back, so oh, I'm going to keep it. We get two bites at the apple here. For this, I'm going to lead off with the armor so that I can tap that in the cradle for the fists. Hmm. Second wave. We'll take it. Yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking about it and waiting for it. I probably had enough creatures for the Crater Hoof to be lethal as the sole um, swinger with the Exalted Triggers, but uh, that's not good. Because that will not hit Arbor, but it will hit everything else. So you know what? I might... Um, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to... Ah, now it changes things. He should have done that after. Uh, no. I lied. I'm not going to attack. Because now that he's past zero, I am going to put this in play. I thought he might have been going next level on me there and doing that pre-combat intentionally. But that's a good lesson. He shouldn't have done that until end of turn. Because that did change what I what I was going to do. I was not going to make that play so that he couldn't get both of these with a end of turn sack it with zero. What's he going to name? Deserted Temple? Or Garrick? Or Magus or Candelabra. It's got a few targets. Magus. Not what I'd name. Wow. Third Genesis wave. Okay. Um. I'll swing with these guys. I've got this in hand, so I'm not worried about waving into. I don't have enough to wave into them anyway. Do a little value wave here. See if we can basically get two off our deck. <coughs> ah, I flustered. <laughs> That's interesting. It's going to be very bummed to know I've got two more with a witness. Ah, uh, cloud post. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> That's what I would have named. So, again, swing with these two. And then we will. 
two for four. Oh, we hit all of them. I'll take that. That second temple and that fist are going to be pretty clutch. And if you ever play against me, I would name this with Needle. Interestingly enough, we could go for another wave here. Uh, crack that for two forests, five, six. Uh, no. I'm gonna play it casual. I'll get that one extra land down, have the cradle untapped, and go for a, a backbreaker. Interesting, so he's playing. I don't know. Just Cloud Post, Titan. It's a weird version of 12 Post, but. I don't know. I guess I just haven't seen enough of the deck yet. What do we got? There's prime time. <sighs> Excuse me. Please don't grab Vesuva. That's gonna make me wish I had Genesis Wave last turn. Can't wait for the new M14 Legend rules, by the way. So people stop nuking my cradle with Vesuva. That's the wrong... oh, fudge. trouble. Okay, so I am going to have to burn a turn here. Getting the witness to grab my cradle back. So... One, two, three, four, five. That pays for itself. So one, two, three, four. There's one left over. So I am going to have to not pay for two of these. One, two. pay for itself, since I'm not swinging into this. Um, yeah, I can actually do this. Let's witness back that, uh, that cradle. Now, I didn't play that turn, so when he swings, he can't grab a Vesuva. But I will put out the Hierarch. I know that means I've got to play the cradle, play for the, uh, pay for the, uh, the tabernacle next turn. But I can pay for everything, one, two, three, and then still put the cradle and have, uh, three untaps with it. Probably tap post for it, there it goes. So, now he's got a decision. Does he blow bomb for one? to knock me down to four, which then drops his needle down. You might think I'm bagging a uh, Magus. Wouldn't matter because it would have uh, summoning sickness, so if I'm him, I blow this just to get me down to four, because he knows I've got the cradle. Ooh. Bummer. Jeez. You know what? I think my play here is not to put anything to play. If I put this in, he Vesuvas again and blows it up, assuming he's got more than one. If I put this in, I lose it for being able to next turn, cast that, and swing for the win. So you know what? I'm going to put nothing into play. I think that might have been my 
best play of the match so far. Because I wanted to get real greedy and drop that so that he couldn't swing, but next turn I think I cast it, and if he doesn't counter it, he's in deep trouble. Six. Everything gets six. And trample. Yeah, I think that would do it. Yeah, I'll take a hit from this. That's no problem. Okay, so I'm going to have to wave for a boatload next turn. Uh, 16, I'm going to have to do the math. So that attack opens up. It's really going to hinge, he doesn't know it, but it's going to hinge on whether he blows this high rock, because if he doesn't, I've got enough to crater hoof and swing for the win. He blocks 1, 3, 18, 5, oh, you know what, I may be able to get past him anyway. We'll see. Do have to have the one untapped, so I am going to have to, unfortunately, have him pay himself. Uh, get what? One untapped with this? Yeah, I think this might be the best way to do it. Tap one, untap the other, get two, ten. Yeah, it's not gonna matter, okay. What do I draw? Slime. Of course. Mm, do I slime? And then... Crater Hoof? Can I generate? Five? No, because I need one more to untap. Let's do this. I don't need the slime. Let's see if he's smart, he blows us here. No? Okay. Uh, nine. Four, untap. I'm, I'm going to slime, just because I can use one on tap and still have more than enough to cover days. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that. No. Well, he's probably only got one eye, right? Tabernacle I can now pay for. I'm going to win this turn. Okay, so I'm all in on winning this turn by making this move. This deck is all about this interaction, so I would have blown that to keep me at four. Then I couldn't have done all this, uh, not as easily. Oh no! Just gonna grab a Vesuva. Son of a. Great play. Great play. Did not anticipate that. Four. Oh, that sucks. Wow. So I had enough to cast this, and he didn't try it on the first one. Amazing. <coughs> oh, well that's going to be the game. Dang. Didn't think he had a rotation in hand. Nice last card. Block 
Mach 1, go down to nothing. Or go down to 2. I pretty much have to draw a witness. Nope. I pretty much have to draw a crop rotation or a cradle. Got two of my waves and a cradle there. Boy, I should have just gone for the crater hoof right then. Can't believe he let me untap and didn't crop rotate. Yeah. Well, I guess that does make sense because then I would have been able to, in response, get another untap out of it. So, yeah, that was that was my fault by uh, casting the slime. I got greedy. I should have cast this first, then cast the slime. So that's that's on me. So I can't just. Mm. Wow. It's not going to do it, is it? Dang. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. That was a fun one. Um, mm. Oh, that hurts. That hurt. Okay. So, I am going to need... Does nothing. Leyline does nothing. Yeah, pretty much. I think this is my best bet. I think this is my best bet. Well, you know what? He's got Candelabra. It doesn't have Magus. So even though that gives me a creature count, I'm gonna do this because he's not gonna name Candelabra. That that would hurt him. Uh, yeah. We'll go for it. I'm going to have to play real defensive with my Cradles. Since he is also playing one of my favorite cards, Crop Rotation. Okay, game three. What do I have? Swarm, Caracas, Fist. I got one and two drop. I just don't have a Cradle. But I got everything else, so we'll hunt for hunt for that. It'll just be nice knowing you can't crop rotate after I attack with that, so I'll be doing a lot of second main phase stuff. Ooh, there's the cradle. Uh, don't need to play it yet. I will... get that on the stack. I mean, I haven't seen a counter, but certainly since I'm playing what would effectively be called combo, you know, the Genesis wave is just, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we brought in a couple forces or something. And since it hurts me nothing to, uh... could just read, put two one ones into play, and I'd play it. Trample is pretty irrelevant. Okay. Um. Let's 
let's get let's get that on the stack again oh I should have should have attacked with them really wasn't thinking there for a second does at least force him to do all this monkeying around beforehand now I do have the witness so I'm betting he'll try to kill my cradle as soon as possible and I will um, have to witness it back so hopefully those two points don't end up costing me the game because it's 17 I might have been able to threaten lethal next turn but not with, uh, not at 19. Three, four, eleven. Uh, okay, maybe not. Forgot I can't make a 3-3 three, three and then overrun. about direct damage so I am actually gonna go ahead and put a beastie down because that gives me four I will be able to drop a land play witness get my cradle back assuming he kills it untap it Swing for five. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you know, got him on a decent clock. Tank glimmer post. Show and tell. Yeah, I'm putting Krakus into play. Ah, I was hoping that was going to be Emrakul. I don't know. Show and tell is tough because. I mean, he's got, obviously, with Ivugan, I'm sure he's got Emrakul in there. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> I do not like you, Sam, I am. So, let's see, I'm going to lose... Sapling, Sapling, I'm going to pay for... Pay for these two, so I'll do that, do that. Okay. Okay. Cancel. Cancel. Oh, I drew another cradle. That is very good. flyer in there. Okay, so let's see what I gotta do. I'm gonna drop the cradle. I'm going to untap. I'm gonna cast... Ooh, tempting. Yeah, because I want to be able to pay for my critter, so I'm gonna put this out there. I don't need to witness this and let him know that I've got another cradle. And I'm going to keep these back to block. I don't need the cradle right now. We're just going to essentially keep the cradle alive to pay for this stuff and still be able to do something. This at least slows him down a little bit. And he's going to swing. I get to kill it. I get to play this. Yeah, I guess it depends. If he's got to have more than one Vesuvia, he's probably got a play set. He's swinging at me. Ooh. Do I kill it?
you know what? Ah, boy, this is a tough one. I'm going to have a Dryad here, so I'll have two, three. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to block... Because I want him to stop fetching the Subas and his own Cradles. Assuming he's got them. I'm trying to remember if he's got Cradles or not, but you know what? I, yeah, I just think getting this prime time off the board is my best bet. Wow, that's a tough call. Ugh. You and your brainstorm. You and your play the best value card in the game. Okay, fine. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Pay to keep my little buddy around. Oh! Boom goes the dynamite. Okay. Let's, uh... That was kind of silly to do this now, just thinking about that. I am going to tap, untap two. I'm going to keep Caracas open just in case he does indeed show and tell an Emrakul. At least I can bounce it. So use three, witness. Oh no. Don't fluster storm me. Because I didn't do this first. Oh, I can't believe I didn't do this first. Oh no, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a misplay. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Swing with that first. I might have done the same thing, but at least I wouldn't have wasted the witness. Ah, oh, what a joke. Feel free to comment about my misplay. Oh, uh, that was terrible. Sorry about that. Obvious, too. The second he cast, I'm like, how do he cast it? I already know I didn't swing. Boo his. Ugh. That one's going to sting for a while. Hopefully that didn't cost me the game. Because now, what, I pay for two and just start beating? Now I kind of have to draw that one of the two remaining cradles or a rotation. Ugh. Now there's another Vesuva going at least. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Wonder if he's got another show and tell. You know what? My misplay was bad. His was pretty bad, too. I want to play that one first. That's pretty funny. Okay, now I don't now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> that was that was pretty bad. I put that on on par with uh with my punt. I guess I gotta keep this around. <laughs> Epic, yeah. Yeah, it was that was pretty ugly. Uh yeah. Cradle it is. Wow. Okay. I mean, do I go for a value wave here? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. Uh, I just got three Vesuvas out. Uh, boy, do I play this. What do I get out of it? One, two, three, four. Untap two. Five, six, seven, eight for five? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Huh? Um. Oh, he chose Garrick! You idiot! Oh, no! not paying attention. I never actually saw what he named. I thought he was just going to name Caracas. Um. Wow. Ugh. Paid attention. Damn it. Yeah, I just literally thought he named Caracas hoping for another show and tell. But, um, no, he named Garrick, and I was thinking I was going to wave for five there. Oh, that hurts. Oh, come on. Really? O stone? Boo. That sucks. That might have been the game. Ugh. I hate that card. Usually I have to deal with that card in Commander. Yeah, he's definitely ahead. I mean, I've got my Cradle finally stuck, but he's got top. And a lot more mana production at this point. Ugh, damn. I could wave for five there. That would have been great. I don't think my dryad's going to be able to peck him to death. He's digging. He's finding stuff. So he got prime time? Yep. Why can't that be legendary? To get the fourth Basuva? Is finally out of him. Cloud post and oh, maybe that's just because he's got em oh he does have Emrakul in hand. Ugh. Yeah. here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, I guess we're kind of screwed, so. Because he's going to cast Emrakul, and uh, I can bounce it once, but he takes the extra turn because it's hard cast, and then I die. He played well, and then, to be blunt, nothing would have made me think about O-Stone. I would have played into it anyway, even with the uh, the wave. And it looks like I, there wasn't a uh, acidic slime there. So, yep. So, this is the unfortunate. This is where Caracas doesn't come into play real well. Oh, he does have that Basuva. Yeah, Caracas. Oh, he's got a Caracas too. Ah. Yeah, so I'm doubly screwed. Oh well, that was a that was a good game. That was a fun one.
don't play against 12 posts that much, but we do have similar ideals in terms of generating a buttload of mana. His lands are not legendary, so makes it a lot easier. But I still think mine's more fun. So very close. Had a had a couple good opportunities in this one. So now it's all over but the crying, so just waiting for him to That didn't matter, obviously. I was just a little more hey, still had all these. I think he could have just failed to find there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Eh, had some good stuff, but was it going to matter? Anyway, that was a fun match. Thanks for watching.